Hi folks, thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show, where Believe It, if I can get through this day with a big smile on my face and true personal independence, just a baby step away, well, Believe It, so can you. Today is Sunday, December 8th, 2019. I am broadcasting from the south side of Jacksonville. Just a little bit of sexy. And I gotta tell you what, folks. If you like this video, please like it. Push like button on there and share it with your friends. Share it with anyone that's recovering from something because I'm trying to reach people that need my help. I'm trying to reach somebody out there that's just struggling with either something that they want information on or their own mental struggles that I know I can help you with. So please, if you like this video, like it, share it, hit the subscribe button on YouTube, and if you're in Facebook, just simply share away. And now it's time to get on the show. I've got to tell you what I am looking at you laying in that hospital bed. Let me ask you, how are you doing today? You struggling? Well, lay it on me. What are you struggling about? You don't want to get out of bed. Hey, I can appreciate how you feel. I struggle every day with that very thought. Getting out of bed it just seems too much trouble. Sometimes I just like to draw the curtains, draw the blinds, pull the covers over my head, and sleep the day away. I'll tell you what, that sounds pretty enjoyable but what happens is then one day turns into 20 turns into a year and next thing you know you're you're in a big hole and you just can't get out you just can't even get out of bed you're depressed so what I suggest is get up with a smile even if it hurts smile because you know you could be affecting somebody else's life I'm sure you're not laying there thinking, oh, I want everybody to be miserable like me. No. You got to get up and spread your cheer because your cheerful smile is going to spread. Uh, it, is, it is the epitome of health is a cheerful smile. So have that smile to be positive and to share it with somebody. And you never know. You might... Uh, save somebody's life just by that smile it sounds you know it sounds like a an awful big thing to do just for a simple smile but let me tell you what man the more people out there that give love and give good attitude it's just going to spread like a wildfire so yes have that smile i also want to talk to you about uh Something that has happened to me in terms of my recovery, and that is walking. Now, as time goes by from a stroke, you're going to get back your faculties, your more of your neurological uh, things that you can do, neurological um, items that you can do as time goes by. What affected my stroke was the right, the left side. It was on the right side of the brain, affected my left side. So I have problems with my left hand. I used to play guitar. I cannot play right now. Uh, one day I will be able to. Right now I cannot. But uh, as time goes by, this sensation gets better. You know, at first it was, uh, I couldn't feel anything. You know, it was like... I lost complete sensation when my limbs were in space. Now it's a little better. I could feel a little more. 
And as time goes by, it'll get a little bit better, a little bit better, just a little bit at a time. So take that and, and file that into your your uh, memory because uh, as time goes by, you will get to where you, you can do things easier. Things don't get easy, but they get easier to do. Now, walking... I plan on walking by myself. Right now, it's not a possibility. How, however, I am able to stand up as long as I can set my hand on someone's shoulder. Then I can balance myself. I'm strong enough to stand up. Two months ago, I couldn't do that. So that's telling you, folks, time can do. Stick with it. Have a good attitude. In time, you will be able to walk. Right now, I can stand. And I was at uh, my niece's wedding. And I wish Brian and Sammy Erickson a lifetime of happiness. I love you both very much. A shout out to you. You both mean so much to me. And, and, and Lando and and. The Erickson family, Lauren, Todd, and Barbara, everybody in that family. I got a chance to meet some of the people that I, I didn't really know too much and see people I haven't seen in a long time who I've forgotten, like Jill and and uh, uh, Peggy, someone had, that I just met. That's part of that family. But anyway, I just wanted to say you guys mean a lot to me, and and, and I hope you have a good life. And speaking of life, that's what we're trying to do. We're pursuing happiness. So you could either pursue happiness or you can pursue sadness. And if you want to lay in that hospital bed and be sad, and there's nothing I could do about that. I can only affect my behavior. And I choose to be happy, regardless of the situation. And you can do the same thing because, you know... When you are in a cheerful mood, that's what people notice. If you're walking around with a, a cloud over your head, then people just turn away. And then just, yeah, they don't want to see it. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to talk about it. So you're going to, what's going to happen is you're going to eventually be all alone. And that's what we want to avoid. We don't want to be alone. We don't want to isolate. We want to be with everyone, with all the people we love, with our families. Because most of you were probably enjoying life in that regard anyway before the stroke happened. So let's all just stick with it. Understand you're going to have limitations. Believe me, your family's going to see that as well. There will be people that will step up and help you. If I was there, I would help you. That's for sure. I can't be there, but uh, hopefully this uh, this video that you're watching will help you decide to get out of bed every day. You know, grab yourself by the bootstraps, pull them up. Let's get one foot in front of the other, one step at a time, with a big smile on your face. Be positive. There's no reason to be sad. I know this this uh, condition has grabbed the tiger by the tail. Recognize that. And turn around and face it off and say, You know what? I'm not going to let you dictate my mental frame of mind. I'm going to be positive and I'm going to smile and I'm going to embrace love. In this world. Now with that said. I'm going to let you go. Now are you getting out of bed. Or are you going to stay in there. And go to sleep. That's a spirit. Come on. Let's go for a walk. One foot in front of the other. Remember one step at a time. Little baby steps. And we're going to get to where we need to be. To become independent. Folks. Thank you for tuning in to the Believe It Show. Where Believe it, if I can get through this day with a smile on my face and true personal independence, 
just a baby step away. Well, believe it, so can you. You have a great night. I'll talk with you next time. Bye-bye.